In this video, I'm going to show you a really glitchy little pressure that we can create out of the nickel 245 odd. Really simple setup, but we have the potential to get B gap and edge heat at the quarterback. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here that we release every single day on the YouTube channel. Now, like I said in this video, we're going to be going over the 245 odd and the play we're going to be going over is the play pinch two out of the 245 odd in my opinion this is probably the best play on defense in Madden 22 right now and if you want to get my full nickel 245 odd defensive ebook i'm going to put a link to that in the description this is just one play it's definitely not our best blitz that we have in the defensive ebook but it's a kind of a unique pressure and i wanted to go over it here on youtube today for those of you that are looking for a really simple and effective uh blitzing concept so all we're going to do is we're going to pinch our defense. We're going to crash our D-line to the right. And honestly, from there, we're pretty much done. Like, we can literally just call the snap, call snap. And what you'll oftentimes see is we'll get this right edge heat or we'll get this gap heat. Now, the way that you can make this even better um, is once you do that, once you pinch your defense, just show blitz. What you'll see is it really will pinch everybody kind of right in here. And I find this to be super, super effective. So you'll see here again, we're just pinching everybody down. And as you can see, we're going to get some looping pressure and some edge pressure. The beauty of this defense is that it really does. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you baseline. Um, it's really important too that we baseline. I forgot to tell you that. So baseline, uh, pinch defense, then crash it to the right. And then you're going to see right here that we're going to give these kind of unique blitzing angles at the quarterback. And we're just going to run down just like this, the snap. Oftentimes we're going to get that B gap or we're going to get that edge off the left side. If not, just we, if not, we just uh, might just get both of them in. Um, so again, let me just show you. So again, we're going to pinch our defense. We're going to crash our defensive line to the right side. Really important. And then from there, we're just going to reset our linebackers. Okay, we can reset them. We could either, uh, so we can reset them. We could show blitz if we wanted to as well. But I find resetting them to be very consistent for this edge heat. As you can see right there, that slot corner is going to come off the edge. Worst case scenario. Okay, so now the other thing that I wanted to show you uh, with this video is uh, another way we could do it is to just simply crash our defensive line down. You're going to see it's going to create this little natural, nice little um, compression blitz uh, down tactic. And what you'll see with that is sometimes we'll get that gap heat or we'll get a gap uh, from that. So this is just a kind of another way to create pressure out of this play. I really do like and enjoy the pressure that you can get out of this. I think there's a lot of things that we can do. Uh, from a pressure perspective and again you just want to kind of mess with where you're going to hover as a user you'll see there that b gap was trying to come through didn't quite come through off the edge there but the other thing that you can also do with this is you can use her other players than just this or you can use her this guy uh kind of in a unique position so i'll show you that here in just a second so again we're going to pinch our linebacker so that the lineman can crash down then we're going to reset them and then what we're going to do is kind of click and cover right in here and at the snap of the ball it's going to go down and to the left and as you see we get these loot nice crazy um little blitz angles and what i like about this is this defense absolutely screams at the quarterback now the other thing that you could do like I said, is just pinch your defense, crash your defensive line down. And then from there, what I like to do is go ahead and show blitz. You see that it brings that left side guy in a little bit. It just creates this really nice pinched look. And the reason I like this so much is I find that it is very difficult for the opponent to know where the pressure is coming from. And honestly, I will tell you this as well. I have found that they actually kind of don't expect pressure when you give them a look that looks like this. It doesn't look like pressure is going to come in and we're able to create a significant amount of pressure. So this is just kind of one of my favorite little uh, tactics here. I love this pinch alignment out of the 245 odd because of this little, you see how it creates this um, it's just kind of a unique look here and I find that I can get some pretty unique blitzies or uh, pretty unique blitz angles to uh, be effective out of this so uh, obviously there's other ways to run this like we could literally just baseline and press this and what you'll see is we'll get um, we'll get pretty good pressure I am having a little bit of trouble in practice mode with the with the blitzer on the left he's much more consistent than you're seeing right now in game he's a he's a way more consistent than what you're seeing right here um, that's more of what we're consistently going to get is that that angle right there so 
you know, just kind of be aware of that. Another thing that you can do real quick is if you if you contain rush, what you're going to see is that left side guy is going to be put on that contain. It gives them kind of a unique blitz angle. They're going to basically be able to stop any kind of rollouts or anything that might um, you know, that might be happening in that regard as well. But honestly, guys, this is just a very simple pressure. The other thing that I like that you could do with this is you could also really significantly overload it. For example, I could blitz this linebacker on the left side, and then I could take the slot corner and just drop him into any zone that I want. So I'm still only blitzing five people, but it's pretty good for bunch because we're going to oftentimes get these looping pressures around that left edge as well and able to have the ability to drop coverage uh, in a significant way on the back side of this play. Um, another thing you could do is just simply blitz that blitz ball, blitz all your linebackers straight down just like this. And then just crash your line down and then you can basically drop zone uh, these right side guys because we're just going to overload that left side and you'll see here that you oftentimes are going to get some gap pressure something coming clean over on that right side or over on that left side so pinch two is just kind of a fun play to be honest um, it's something that I really really uh, have enjoyed just kind of you know, learning and, and, and running this concept because this concept has about 15 million different ways it can be ran um, all of which are effective and all of which can be very useful in terms of that five-man base rush, we're going to put some pressure on our opponent, and we're going to have to we're going to force them to have to realize that you know they can't just they can't just send five out. And the reality is, in our ebook, we actually talk about how you can get consistent uh, two-man pressure out of this same concept. You can do um, the other thing that I like that you can do this year is you can actually roll uh, your pressure. So, for example, I could drop. Um, two people off into coverage here on the right side and then I'm just going to kind of use her right in here and we're going to have a pretty decent success at getting that pressure in just only sending three as well um, as you can see right there and then the beauty of this is we can kind of almost like cre create the same concept on the back side so we're going to drop the linebacker and we're going to drop that DN on the right now it's not as consistent from this side but I have found that this actually does come in a little bit more than you might think it would and then you're able to just drop three from one edge and play that roll coverage uh, type of defense that is really, really effective. So, you know, these are some concepts that you can use uh, to get some pressure. Another look that I like to do is that I, it's actually an interesting look and it's to shift my D line to the right. And the reason I like this out of that pinch too is because it allows me to kind of play like like right in here with my user. And I find this is a really, really, really wonky B gap pressure as well. So, you know, there's just some concepts that I wanted to, to kind of mess with a little bit uh, in this video and share with you that you could do some really unique things. Uh, again, I think people don't realize that like you can move these guys around and when you move them around, it really does make a big difference. For example, something like this right here, we shift our line to the left, crash it down and you see now we're screaming through that B gap again. So those are just some concepts that you can apply uh, to your game. I wanna thank you for watching today's video. Like I said, this is just a simple pressure um uh, a simple pressure concept that you can mix in. I really like it because we can we can get that angle right there and I find that angle to be very effective. And again, we oftentimes get this B gap animation that I find to be super, super good, especially against Gun Bunch because we're gonna put ourselves in a decent situation to pretty much you know force them to have to do something from a pass protection perspective. Maybe blocking a tight end, maybe blocking a running back, whatever it might be. But this is just a simple way that we can create kind of a unique pressure concept out of this formation that I really enjoy that B gap pressure just kind of a unique look and oftentimes that pressure will get in so fast uh, that they're just they puts the offense in a really weird position they're not always equipped to be able to deal with that pressure and then obviously if they are able to deal with that typically that slot cornerback uh, is going to come in in behind it but anyways thanks for watching today's video guys if you want to get a um, complete tutorial of my nickel 245 odd uh, defensive guide. I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. It's probably, like I said, the best, in my opinion, it's definitely the best pass defense right now. Um, the pressure is super, super effective out of this defense. And you're going to find that you're going to get a lot of consistent stops in terms of pass defense. Now the run defense from here, we actually show you in the ebook, how to stop the run. Uh, 
from this formation as well. I find that most people, when they see you're in this, they're going to try to run the ball. So we've created some really decent run defenses out of this as well to help you with that. But the pressure is absolutely fantastic. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to purchase my entire 245-odd defensive scheme, there's a link in the description. All you got to do is click that link. It'll take you right over to the website, and we'll get you guys all squared away. Thanks a lot for watching the video, and we'll see you guys next time.